Alright, welcome back. We're in the engine room, and we are about to do the last part of the engine room. The... Whatever this is. A new galaxy. Azure Jr.'s lava reactor. Here we go. Oh, it's just a re a redo of King Caliente, okay. Uh that's okay. He's a pretty cool boss. Yes. Looks good. This looks really nice. Oh, come on, I spawn him. Fuck this game. I like those little guys. Like, they're probably my least favorite enemies. Because look, they don't... They don't fuck off. You can't get rid of them. To be within, like, their hitbox to <laughs> spin them. And at that point, you're fucked. I'm lucky if these are homing melons. I'd be in trouble. If I give up any more grand stars, my dad's gonna get mad. This calls for my ultimate weapon. Give him some heat in Caliente. Even though I've already fought you before. Mm. Yes. Oh, this is kinda shitty for Mario. Why would they make him into a lot, like a reactor level? Like a grand star level? I think he was just a regular ball. How'd they get him here? On a totally different planet, a different galaxy. Are things over fucked up? Oh, didn't come back. Come on! That was bullshit! Come on! Ah, oh. oh, still can't blow them out. Stop holding your butt. There you go. Nice. Those blue things just make it. Like everything else is fine at that point.
Oh, that wasn't too bad. You could beat the game without ever getting this grand star, probably. Nice to see it go back into that sun now. Then. something else. Galaxy complete. Ah. <laughs> Almost too bright to look at. Let's help us. Get really in the story a little bit there. And then we'll go to the garden. There we go. Let us begin. Aren't you just outside? How did you get here? A beam of light pierced through the ship's window. Thinking it was the morning sun, the girl peered through the window, only to find a turquoise blue comet shimmering at her. The little girl shook the sleeping limo awake and shouted excitedly, We have to get to that comet. It looked high and low, but Luma's mother was nowhere to be found. Exhausted, the little girl sat down with a flop, utterly unable to take another step. Look. Peering down at the icy ground where Luma was pointing, the girl suddenly noticed clusters of star bits encased in the ice. Pretty good, huh? Finding star bits is my specialty, said Luma. There's ice here, but it's so warm. I'll bet there's water here, too. The two decided to stay on the comet for a while. Riding the turquoise comet, the pair continued their search for Luma's mother. Dream. Night, the girl dreamed about her own mother. Where are you going? She asked. Her mother's retreating back. No turning, her mother replied, Don't fret, dearest. I'm not going anywhere. I'll always... I'm always watching over you, like the sun in the day and the moon in the night. A wave of sadness washed over the girl. What about when it rains and I can't see the sun or the moon? I thought for a moment before responding. We'll turn into a star in the clouds and wait for your tears to dry. She awoke. The girl's face was damp, damp with tears. You have star bits in your eyes, said Luma to the girl. Wiping her face, the girl replied, These are tears, not star bits. I'm crying because I'll never get to see my mother ever again. At this, Luma began to cry too. Mama, oh mama, where? Oh yeah. Air traveled through the starry skies, and though they encountered many other comets, not one of them held Luma's mother. Luma was. Now, now, Luma. The rain clouds won't go away if you keep crying, the girl said, giving Luma a squeeze. I'll give you a present if you stop. Girl closed her eyes and said gently, I'll take care of you. With these words, words, she felt a small spark in her heart. Like that a lot. The kitchen will go here and the library will go over there. The girl said busily to herself. We'll put the gate here. Ever since the girl took Luma under her care, she'd been bustling about at a feverish pace. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it to make a happy home. 
note that stair bits weren't the only things we had made. They were tools and furniture unlike any they had ever seen, and the girl used them to build a home. With the completed house, Luma remarked, Don't you think it's awfully big for just the two of us? The library, bedroom, kitchen found the gate. It was certainly spacious, but still, something seemed to be missing. If only my father, brother, and mother were here, the girl said. Indeed, the house was too large for its two small residents. At night, clutching her favorite stuff bunny close to her, the girl fell asleep in the station. That should do it for today. Wow. I like the these stories. Like, cause like, what happened to her mother? Is she dead? Why does her mother look like Peach? And 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 how where'd she come from? And stuff. And Rosalina's just a really interesting character. I like that backstory they put in. Really optional too, like you never have to go in there if you don't want to. If you're bored with all the storytelling. This is the bedroom. This is the fan. This is the terrace. There's a shortcut up there I can... Oh my god. Hmm. Oh, well, whatever. So... I'll jump up to the, uh, the next part. And then we'll go to the garden. That's the plan.